MSX Fusion adds visible spectrum definition to infrared images for amazing detail that would be impossible to see in a standard thermal image. Tools Plus can create an MSX image. All you need is an infrared image and a matching photo. In order to create the Fusion image, you must first create a Word report using FLIR Tools Plus. Left click on the infrared image to show the measurement toolbar and then click the Image Fusion button. If you have a matching visual photo from the FLIR camera, it will appear here automatically. You could also click the Open Photo button to use a visual photo from a different digital camera. This makes the Fusion mode compatible with a wide variety of FLIR infrared cameras. The alignment process entails identifying three reference points on both images. I will first click and drag each marker to the desired locations on the infrared image. Next, I'll need to drag the markers on the photo to the same location so they are pointing to the same reference points. It isn't important to get them exact just yet. You can click on each of the reference point buttons below the image to magnify each region in order to more precisely position the markers. Once the marker positions are set, you can view the full image again and then select the desired fusion mode. I will choose MSX mode and click OK to return to the report page. Initially, the image does not look any different, but this is because we are not applying the MSX algorithm to the image. You can slide this bar to the right to increase the MSX intensity, and this will begin to draw out elements from the visual image. The unique nature of the MSX technology allows you to see details in the image that would be impossible to see with a standard infrared image. You can always increase or decrease the MSX intensity at any time. You can also return to the Image Fusion window to reposition the markers or to switch to other fusion modes like interval or picture in picture. The interval mode behaves like an isotherm on the photo, showing the infrared image between the temperature limits set by these sliders. The photo is shown in areas above and below these limits. Since the fusion images are radiometric, you can always adjust the temperature span, change the color palette, and measure temperatures using areas, spot meters, and several other measurement tools included with the word add-in. The fused images will be saved with the word document. However, it is also possible to save the image out of the document into the Tools Plus library. Just right click and save as and save the image into one of your library folders. When you open FLIR Tools you will see the new image in the library and you can double click to analyze it. Since it is fused you can toggle between the various fusion modes just as if it was stored this way in the camera. You can also make adjustments to the scale, change the color palette, and measure temperatures as if it was a standard thermal image. Now I can save changes and return to the image library. This concludes our presentation. Please visit us on the web for more support and training resources.